An incorrectly distributed load on the foot changes its biomechanics. Well, naturally everything that follows the foot, ankle joint, knee joint, hip joint. We use rehabilitation, we use orthosis, and so on. What is bursitis? Bursitis is an inflammation of the synovial bursa, joint capsule. It occurs due to an incorrect pressure on the foot, in this case on the forefoot. Also, the reason may be different forms of flat feet, different types of hallux valgus, and being overweight. When a patient has one of the above problems, and if the patient is suffering from static pressure, such as standing work or carrying heavy weights, then the incorrectly distributed load on the foot changes its biomechanics, giving additional points of pressure on the joints. Increased pressure over a long period of time causes inflammation of these joints. Bursitis occurs followed by pain. At the stage of treatment, a visit to the doctor is required. At the stage of rehabilitation and prevention, in addition to working with the foot, from the point of view of efficiency and enhancement of the results obtained, various options for orthosis are used. These orthosis are intended to relieve the load on a particular area of excessive pressure. Such orthosis will be useful for those people who work hard and spend a lot of time on their feet. They soften the pressure when working, shock and long-term static negative load. These orthosis improve cushioning of the foot and preventing diseases. With the help of the orthosis, the patient can prolong the effect of the treatment and preserve the health of the foot and therefore the health of all subsequent joints, ankle, knee, hip and spine. Bursitis is inflammation. Where inflammation is present, anti-inflammatory drugs are used. Where bursitis is caused by excessive load, we carry out prevention of it. That is, we use rehabilitation, orthosis, and so on. If bursitis is directly caused by a disease, the disease is identified and treated first. If bursitis is caused, for example, by gout, then the patient does a blood test to determine the level of uric acid. Its level must be reduced. As we know, too much uric acid can lead to increased crystals that settle on the joint and injure it during subsequent movement. When its level decreases, the main symptom passes, the inflammation of the joints disappears, and the pain goes away. In the future, the patient medically and necessarily with the help of a correct diet must maintain the result that he achieved together with the doctor. Orthosis might Orthosis will help with this. They will soften the pressure. Remember, where there is inflammation, anti-inflammatory drugs are used. Where there is a disease leading to bursitis, we treat this disease.